TD30. Uh, here are some of my favorite patches that I programmed uh, for this kit. I'm using all the inputs, including the four uh, auxiliary inputs. My configuration is I have a main snare drum, three toms, and an X hat. So this would be my tom one, tom two. This would be the tom three input, and this is the tom four input. Um, this is a second uh, snare drum to my left. I'm also using two KD7s um, trigger uh, kick pads, one to my right uh, and one to my left. And uh, I'm using percussion sounds on those usually, uh, sometimes lower bass drums on the right side. And I'm using two crash cymbals, uh, right cymbal, and that's it. The first patch I want to show you here on the TD30 is uh, what I call TL Studio. patch I want to show you is a really big sort of boomy sound with lots of ambience, some compressed uh, room sounds and uh, I call it the TL Big Boom. Next set I want to show you is uh, what I call the TL Tight Funk Kit, and as the name implies, it's a very tight, uh, quite dry uh, kit with a fairly high snare drum, uh, very punchy kick drum, and really nice clean tom-toms, and it sounds like this. On my left KD7 I have a tambourine, which I find very useful in many musical occasions to have. And I like to switch between hi-hat and tambourine sometimes. So it's very useful. And on my right I have again a very open sounding kick drum as a contrast to the very tight kick drum. The next kit I want to show you is my sort of acoustic very open sounding jazzy kit. I call it TL Swingazzy. It sounds like this. And the one patch that I program that I use probably more than any of the other patches is Lang Rock One, a real great all-around rock kit. that I programmed is called Lang Rock One Plus and uh, it sounds like this.
there it is.